LC has a program that takes as input an array of n variables each equal to 0 or 1, and returns the result of applying a sequence of if-else if-else statements on the input. Each statement examines the value of at most one input variable, and returns either 0 or 1. An example of such a program might be as shown. For example, if the input to the program above is 1 0, that is, b0 is 1 and b1 is 0, then the output should be 1. Elsie has told Bessie the correct output for m different inputs. Bessie is now trying to reverse engineer Elsie's program. Unfortunately, Elsie might have lied. It may be the case that no program of the form above is consistent with what Elsie said. For each of t test cases, determine whether LC must be lying or not. For a given input, LC's program runs into a statement evaluated to true and the output value is returned. Let's call that statement terminating statement and the variable under examination at that point the deciding variable. Terminating statements depend on the input. The same program may terminate earlier or later depending on the variable values fed to the program. However, return value of a certain terminating statement for a certain deciding variable value must always result in the same output value. For instance, in the first two inputs of the second test case b, 0, equals 0. However, the output values are 0 and 1. This means b, 0, cannot be a deciding variable for these inputs. If it were, the output must have been the same because the variable value is the same. For the third and fourth inputs, the b, 0, values are 1 and the output values stay the same. Therefore, b, 0, is a deciding variable candidate for these inputs. Here is the equivalent code for the third and fourth inputs using b, 0, as the deciding variable in a terminating statement such as this one. We place this piece at the top of the reverse engineered program. b, 1, values in the third and fourth inputs has no effect on the output since those values are not accessible to the reverse engineered program due to the fact that the first statement is the terminating statement for the third and fourth inputs. Next we check deciding variable candidacy of b, 1, for the first and second outputs. We note that the outputs are consistent with b, 1, values. Therefore, b, 1, is a deciding variable candidate for the first two inputs. We can now stitch these pieces and commit. It will produce the correct outputs for the given inputs. It will pass all the tests. Let's apply this technique to the fourth test case. As before, b, 0, equals 0 for the first and second inputs. However, the output values are again 0 and 1. This means b, 0, cannot be a deciding variable for these inputs. We also see that b, 0, is not a deciding variable for the third and fourth inputs. We were not able to identify any deciding variable so far. Let's analyze the inputs with respect to the variable b, 1. In order to visualize easily, we will switch inputs 2 and 3 with each other. We are not lucky this time. There is no deciding variable at all. Unfortunately, Elsie must have lied. Therefore, we need to loop through the n inputs and the variable values to identify potential deciding variables by checking the consistency of the output values. We will print OK, 
if there is at least m deciding variables for a given test case. Otherwise, we will print lie. Here is an animation that works out a slightly more complicated case as described. We continue the simulation with the fourth variable. We continue the simulation with the fifth variable as if the inputs with identified terminating statements do not exist. Because as in the example they will not be made accessible in the reversed engineered program by inserting the previous terminating statements at the top. Once again remove the inputs with identified terminating statements and continue with the process with the next variable. We must do this because the inputs exposed are now different than before. This means it is possible to identify additional terminating statements. Let's see if there is any change for the first variable with the modified input set. With the new terminating statements added at the bottom of the reversed engineered program, all of the outputs are now reproducible. So we print OK.